Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Outdoors with Wayne K. Today's episode, I'm going to show you some of my ice fishing jigs for panfish. Um, I'll show some walleye ones later on. But today I'm not being on the ice because it's minus 6 outside. Wind is like between 20 and 35 mile an hour winds, gusting to 40, which brings it like minus 20 for wind chills. So I'm not going on the ice today, even though I got my portable the heater. Nope. So I'm going to hang out in the shop today, do some work, got the heater, just started the heater up on it in it. So hopefully it'll warm up in a couple more minutes. But um, I'm going to show you my rods first, a couple of my rods. All my rods are Shakespeare Augie sticks. I've talked about them before. This is my 28 inch rod. It's got four pound test line on it, Berkeley Trilene. And that's my Haley jig. Hope you can see it. And that is a, I believe a 5 16th ounce. And I catch a lot of perch with it and a lot of panfish, you know, blue, bluegill and crappie with it. I like that one a lot. Another Shakespeare one I have set up. And same thing. <coughs> Same thing, it's an ugly stick, and Shakespeare rods, reels, and this one's got a sting nose on it, a Thunder Mist sting nose jig on it, and that is an eighth ounce Thunder Mist, I get a lot of perch on that, so I'll be doing a video on that, you know, and then I'm into, I did a video last year with the Glow Shot Spoons, and hope you can see that, um, Glow Shot Spoon, and this one is a quarter ounce. And I didn't do that good, you know, of a video last year. With, <coughs> last year, so I'm gonna try another one this year and hopefully do better because last year the fishing wasn't that well when I did it. Just another glow shot spoon right here. Hopefully you can see this one. You know, um, this is another quarter ounce one. Really, you know, I'm hoping they do really well. You know, when I did the video last year, I just kept catching small ones. And here's a jig and wrap. This one is um, a five sixteenths ounce jig and wrap, perch colored one. Um, when I'm on high falls or calm falls or when I'm up on um, in Iron Mountain by the cabin I, when I'm fishing Groveland Mine Ponds I use this a lot and I catch a lot of walleye with it up there so I'll do a video of that you know using that one um, Buckshot Rattle Spoon and this one is um, a quarter ounce and if you saw the video of me catching the walleye at the hole where I pulled it out where I should have just you know played it out um, that's what I was using and that's what I use all the time in the Fox River, Green Bay, you know, Indy Pier. So it's a buckshot rattle spoon, it's perch color. A lot of my jigs, I mean 90% of my jigs are perch colored jigs that I use for walleye, I mean for walleye, perch, um, bluegill and stuff like that. Um, here's another rattle spoon. This one I do very well with up on High Falls and Color Falls. It's a goal. Um, I think I did really well up there because there's a lot of bait fish up there. I don't do that well on the Fox River with it every now and then I'll catch one or two, but I catch like white fish with it as well. But up in High Falls and Colored Falls, I catch a lot of it. You know, it's got silver on it. You know, it's got a little green in it and got a little purple in it. You know, so I mean, it does all right. Um, the Tungsten Bug, I use I use that a lot in the spring on the beds when I use my fly rod. I'll cast it out there and I'll just let it sink down. And I don't remember the size. I think it's a you know. The, one sixteenth, I, I believe I might be wrong on the size of it, but it does great. It goes. Um, here's another chandelier that I use, and this one is um, three sixteenths of an ounce. Hopefully, you can see that. And I do pretty good too, as well. You know, in the spring, never do, never do well in, at all in the winter time with it. So um, let's see. I'll show you some of my um, these are tumblers that I use. Um, hopefully you can see that color, the light inside here, you know, kind of bright, bright the camera a little bit so you can see it. Hopefully you can see it. Um, it's a glow, and that is um, a 5 16 ounce tumbler spoon. And um, I do really, really well up on high falls with it. And then on a lot of smaller lakes, I do really well on it. And it's nice. Um, one more thing can I show you here to see. Here's another, here's a little branding. You know, Haley Jigs, I said, you know, I like Haley Jigs a lot, perch color. When um, Gander closed her doors, I went there and I bought, uh, bought every Haley Jig I can buy. And um, kind of the wife's like, why would you buy so many? It's because where else am I going to get them at? Because Fleet Firm don't sell them anymore. Gander, I mean, Cabela's don't sell them. And um, this is the only place I go to. Bob White's I used to go to, but um, I stopped going to Bob White's for several reasons. And um, let's see what else. Um, here's another jigging wrap I use. And I use this in the spring and 
summer. It's a perch colored one. I uh, believe it's a uh, 5 16 ounce as well. No, it's quarter ounce. This one is. And I do really, really well up in O'Connell with it on the breakwater for perch. And I nail the perch with it. So that does really well. Um, what else can I tell you? Uh, you know, like I said, I got a box full of Haley jigs, my favorites. So, I mean, I can't, you know, I can't say, say, you know, anything bad about Haley jigs. I love them. But like I said, it's cold out today. I'm going to do some work in the shop. Um, remember to subscribe, leave a comment, tell me what you like about the video, what you don't like about the video, what I can do better on the videos, and give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Um, hope you enjoyed it, and I'm hoping to get out tomorrow. Well, tomorrow's Saturday, the last week, uh, last week before the end of the month, and um, it's supposed to be like 30 degrees out tomorrow. So I'm going to try getting on to Fox, either Fox River or the Bay of the Green Bay. I'm sticking around home this weekend. Um, so, but um, I'm hoping to get a video going for a fishing video. I haven't gotten this fishing video for, for a while, so. But um, until then, I'll talk to you later. Stay warm, tight lines, and later. Bye.